the importance of continuous integration, continuous delivery should no longer be questioned these days, yet many teams fail to recognize the added value of a solid pipeline to deliver code at pace. In this video, I'm not going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of CI pipelines, but instead I'm going to focus on showing you how to build a very simple one with GitHub Actions. For this purpose, I'm going to choose a React front-end and a Cypress for automation test, which seems to be a very common stack these days. So the first step will be to take an existing React application. I found this Next.js simple web app uh, on GitHub and uh, I decided to fork it and rename it uh, Cypress React Pipeline example. The application is fairly small and is running on Next.js. So I decided to add the pipeline by clicking in Actions and then set up a new Node.js workflow directly from GitHub. But you could achieve the same by creating a directory called .github on your project and adding the YAML file for the workflow you want. GitHub let me create a pull request for this new workflow which I'm going to run as soon as I create the PR. In fact, if I refresh the page, you can see there are some pending actions on this pull request. By clicking on the details link, it will take you to the action view. Something has failed and that failed action is called npm ci. That is simply because we don't have that command in our project yet. So let's get started editing the project. First of all, I clone the repository and open the new branch in VS Code. And if we take a look at the pipeline file, I can see there is a missing npm install command, which I need to add to install all the dependencies. And then I think I'll remove this Node.js 10 from the version matrix. And then I can just rerun the GitHub Actions by pushing the code. This time the build passes, hooray! So I haven't developed this uh, front end, so let's take a look at this project. Starting from the home page, I can see there is a list of movies here and there is a sort of nav bar with two links at the top. The movie link will just take me back where I'm on at the moment and uh, the people link will take me to another page. Now we know what we are dealing with more or less, so let's try and add some Cypress for automation testing. Adding Cypress to a project is really simple. First we need to install Cypress as a dependency with the command npm install cypress dash dash save dash dev. Then we can actually open Cypress for the first time with the command npx cypress open. This command will detect our project does not have cypress files so it will create them for us and it will launch a GUI which we don't need right now. So I'm going to delete all cypress examples from the integration examples directory and the fixture example which we don't need either. Now we can create the first spec file. I'm doing so by creating a file called movies.spec.js in the integration directory. I could start with some testing scenarios such as uh, context movies. It should list all movies when I land on the home page. And then I just want to write this first spec and see if uh, everything works still. So I can run the command npx cypress run which does not open the GUI and runs all the tests in headless mode. From the console, I can see my test is green and it has, been, it has passed. So we can proceed and add some logic to the test. Cypress has this GUI tool which is really useful and it can be run with npx cypress open. Like I mentioned before, we open it again and we can see the scenarios are run in um, Cypress, but they don't really go anywhere and Cypress rightly suggests to use the ci.visit command. So we close Cypress and we go to the cypress.json file where we can first of all add our base URL. In our case localhost 3000. Then in the spec file I'm adding ci.visit and then I'm putting forward slash in there because that is the root of our web application. Provided the application is running, when I run Cypress again, I can see the GUI navigates correctly to the home page. 
Now here there is uh, this little target icon which is really useful to find the path of an object on the page. I can simply copy and paste the command from here and paste it into my spec file. Although I don't really like all these unnecessary CSS classes so I remove them for readability and I simply test that the element should contain wall E, the movie that I selected. Saving the file will rerun Cypress automatically but then I realize there is an error, it's not actually wall-e, but it's more like wall.e. It's a funny dot, so I don't want to mess about too much and I settle for just wall in capitals and that will do for now. Although it's not a great test, I know. Great, so we have our test, we have a pipeline ready to go, we need a command that starts the server and runs the test in our GitHub Actions workflow. One way to achieve this is to use a library called Start Server and Test. We can install this library and add a script that calls this in the pipeline called int test, for example. So the way this works is you call Start Server and Test, followed by the start command of the server, which in this case is next. And then this is followed by the host URL, which we want to ensure is up and running which in this case is localhost 3000 and then a single test command which I need to create here and I'm gonna call it cypress-run which is simply called cypress-run If I then run npm run int test I will see the script start in the app then the script is gonna also start the test automatically and finally, it's going to give me an output of, of those tests and it's going to close everything. That's, that's exactly what we want to happen in the pipeline. Great, so I can push all this code to my pull request and I can see the pipeline starts again and passes. And this is how you add the simple pipeline in GitHub Action with Cypress. I hope you find this video useful and if you have any question about Cypress or GitHub Actions feel free to leave a comment below and I will see if I know the answer. Thanks and see you next time.